I'm scared. Yet again, I am terrified. <laughs> the Sims just dropped the gameplay trailer for the new Star Wars pack, and of course we're gonna react to it together because this is what we do here on this channel. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this because when I watched the first trailer, I was kind of like, uh, okay, and? Like, what? what is it? What is this pack? I don't get it. Like, what am I getting into here? I don't, what, you've shown me some fancy Star Wars stuff. Like, I watched some lightsabers, but like, really, what is this pack? And that's kind of the point of announced trailers, is to kind of build up some hype, have a really cool trailer, and then they have a gameplay trailer, like this one, where they're probably gonna have someone talking through it, they're gonna explain to us, like, what the gameplay of this pack actually is, which is what I need, because I literally have no idea. Like, what it, what are we supposed to do with the Star Wars pack? What's the point? What do you do in it? I know there was some talk about, like, befriending Kylo Ren or something, but, like, what, what do I do with it? And so now we will find out. Although I must say, I am not pleased with the timing of this announcement. I should have, like, figured it was coming today, because they always drop things on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so like, I don't know why I'm acting surprised. But like, I wasn't gonna record today, I wasn't gonna put on makeup, I've been cleaning all day, like, I was not gonna sit at my PC, and then I get a DM being like, hey, they dropped the trailer, and I was like, I, I didn't want to. <laughs> but it's fine, it is not that big of a deal. I already had a video, so I'll just push it to tomorrow, so it works. It's Maybe it's a good thing, I don't know. But anyway, they dropped the trailer. It's Sometimes my YouTube does this where it kind of like, freezes and buffers, I don't understand why. But they dropped the trailer, already has a lot of dislikes. I feel bad for them. I'm gonna like it. <laughs> I feel like genuinely sad because I know that a lot of people worked really hard on this and I feel sorry for you, but I guess we will watch it. I don't wanna. <laughs> I wish this pack didn't exist. Like genuinely, I don't want to go on Twitter today. I don't have the Twitter app on my phone anymore. Honestly, good decision. I feel a lot less stressed all of the time. So I only go on Twitter like on my PC now and obviously I haven't been on my computer all day because I've been vacuuming. So like, I don't know what people are saying on Twitter about this. I don't really want to know what people are saying on Twitter about about this. I prefer to stay in my lane where, as far as I'm concerned, this pack does not exist. Maybe I'll like it. Who knows? <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll watch it, fine. To know how loud to make it, I guess we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh. So, so. No, hang on, back up. Sorry, I know I paused too soon, but I'm really- okay, I'm- oh, I hate it! Why does the texture look like that? No, oh my god. This looks like a photograph of the real mask. It looks like Alpha CC. Like this looks like classic Sims 4 Maxis match texture. This? That does not. I was kind of worried about that with them trying to make all these like Star Wars aliens. I feel like Disney came in and they were like, I want it to be accurate. And then look, now look at it. Blame Disney for this. No offense, Mickey. I'm sorry. I love you. All right, we can watch. I'm sorry. Ah! Whoa, not cool. I'll never make any friends that way. Okay. <laughs> a few days ago, in a neighborhood not too far away, Cora dreamt of something bigger oh. than the world she knew. Ooh. Suddenly, a mysterious caller promised the adventure of a lifetime. Okay. Oh. Spire outpost on Batu. Okay. Honestly, I wasn't sure how to pronounce Batu until just now. <laughs> so, look it up, guys. <laughs> we're learning things. Cora was in shock. I mean, there were aliens and. Honestly, you guys are ugly. I hate to say it, but like two. Cora was in shock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hurry up. This guy, I'm sorry. You you don't look cute. I'm not looking forward to um having these these walk around my neighborhood. I really hope that these things are not tagged for random casts because the idea of like your next door neighbor showing up to the spice festival wearing this, which you know will happen, I am not pleased about. <laughs> like, the idea of random townies being dressed in these alien costumes. I know they don't usually wear costumes as it is, so we're probably okay. Like, you don't ever see anyone wearing the, like, existing Star Wars costumes, so I, I guess we'll be fine. I just, I have this deep down worry about that. Like, that's my biggest number one concern, is I don't want this to impact my regular everyday gameplay. We can talk about that later. I'm sorry, let's watch the trailer. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I, I see aliens and I have to complain. It's just the way it goes. And Droids! Blue milk. And blue milk! Why is it blue? Also, she had new clothes. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'm change this real quick. <gasps> Woo! Ooh, I like that. It's okay. It's cool, but not trying too hard. Okay. Anyway, Cora set out to- Was that all of the clothes? Surely not. They wouldn't show all of them in the trailer. It's only like three minutes long, so they wouldn't like get through all of it. Okay, we're fine. Never mind. Don't worry. To explore more of Batu. While devouring a plate of delicious Ronto wraps, an especially okay. nosy Abednedo named Loose Tongue shared some- Here's another thing I'm worried about. So this Abednedo, I, listen, 
I've seen Star Wars. I think we've all seen Star Wars. Maybe you haven't, but I've I've seen Star Wars. I feel like my friends and, and family like Star Wars, like, but I wouldn't call myself uh, the biggest Star Wars fan. Like, I, I get the gist. <laughs> you know, I know what happens. I know what, like, lightsabers are, and, like, I know, you know, general basic things about Star Wars. I don't know the details, like, the names of Abed Nidos. Like, I don't know what that is, so I'm worried that I'm gonna see words like this in the Star Wars pack and be like, I'm sorry, what? And then I'm gonna try to pronounce it, and then pronounce it wrong, and then all the Star Wars kids in my comments are gonna be like, ha ha ha, you idiot! And then I'm gonna feel embarrassed, um, and I don't, uh, I don't like that. Anyway, thanks for the unsolicited advice, loose tongue. If it's intel you're after, head to Ova's <laughs> Cantina, talk to DJ Rex. Okay. Cora entered the- Do you know what? I like this person. I like the person doing the voiceover. I think people call these things cringe a lot. But, like, I don't think they understand the importance of it. <laughs> like, it kind of has to be a little bit cringe. And, like, all the gameplay trailers always have voiceovers like this. This isn't a new thing. And I think she's doing a good job. So, I respect it. A vile den of crime oh. and deviance. Only to find what- Hang on. Did she just enter a rabbit hole that took her into this cool- How do the buildings work? Because that, like, opened slidey doors and then she appeared in this bar. That wasn't a lot surely, because I wonder how it works. Like, I wonder how you can edit lots. Like, is this touchable or is Disney like, you can't change my lots? Because I feel like if they're gonna do some weird collab pack with Disney, Disney is very, um, controlling and protective over the things they own. I don't know if they're trying to recreate, like, an actual Star Wars thing right now or not. Like, I, I don't recognize this as being, like, from something real. I don't, it might be. I don't know. I'm not an expert, sorry. But, like, it wouldn't surprise me if they, like, made it so we couldn't change any Anything about Batu, like if they made it so that it was very controlled, and they definitely have the like capability to do that. Think like the the lab in Strangerville, how you can't edit it because it kind of has to be that way for like story purposes, or the acting lot and Get Famous, how it just constantly reverts back to how it used to be. Like you can edit it, but then when you load it in again, it goes back to how it was before because it's kind of like that weird dynamic lot where it changes as you progress in the career. I don't know, maybe this will be something similar, how you can't really change it because it doesn't look like a lot. Like it doesn't. She she just walked through a round building. Like, that doesn't seem like a lot to me. I don't think that bothers me too much. Like, I don't really expect to be able to build in this world. It's gonna be like a weird destination world. I assume it'll have like one lot. Think like Sixum, the alien lot that comes with Get to Work. I feel like it'll be kind of like that, how you can't really change it. Ooh! And at the center of all the fun, DJ Rex. Okay! Joyd was eager to talk. Apparently, three groups had recently set up occupation on Batu. The resistance was gathering forces outside the city, the nefarious First Order had taken over an area downtown, and the scoundrels had been trying to get rich off both every chance they got. Each group would pay a handsome reward to anyone looking to help their cause, and Cora could use the credits. She just had to choose her path. Oh! It was an exciting time for Cora. She completed many missions, collected rare items, recruited new members, became a spy, even flew starships. Most of the time, she could handle a mission on her own, solo style. But okay, I like on. this trailer. I think this is cute. I have a lot of thoughts. We'll get to those in a second. Hang on. <laughs> we still have like half of it to watch. Oh, sorry. Home Depot. There were many Ooh! options, but she loved this little BB unit. So she paid the credits and named her BBQD. Cute. Cute. Oh, Why am I excited? Look at her. I want a robot friend. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> Do you know what? The only thing I'm gonna use from this pack is the droids. Oh, oh, and lightsabers. Wait, yeah. Lightsabers. <laughs> Forget about uh oh. okay. So the very first thing Cora did was get her own lightsaber. So cool. Look at that thing. Do you know what? That is animated really well. Um missions. Okay, so after many successful missions, people started to take notice of Cora's Was that Mortimer Goth? Sorry, it's not. Um, it looks like him. Can you imagine? Turns out Morty is like actually in Star Wars. Anyway. Started to take notice of Cora's effect on the <gasps> And as her reputation grew, she made friends with some truly inspiring people. Ooh. Cora made a pretty good living on those missions. Rewarded with promotions, antiquities from another era, all the galactic credits a person could want. She thought she'd never leave. But then she Wait, <gasps> they're gambling! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this could be fun to just play with in general. Collected credits a person could want. She thought she'd never leave. But then she remembered where she was from. Who she was. No, you're a Star Wars queen now. <laughs> this guy had a temper. Cora returned to Batu several times Aww. and had many adventures. 
She made her dreams come true. You live in that? Imagine if your neighbor had a house like that. They're like some mega Star Wars fan. <laughs> Just like down the street, there's this house. <laughs> oh, yeah. It doesn't even look. Okay, I'm sorry. It looks great. Love that. Wow. Oh. One thing she never oh. drunk of was little cutie. All right, they made it worse. Begin your Sim Star Wars story. In the <laughs> wait, begin your Sim Star Wars TM story. Wait, 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 wait. Begin your. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's funny. Well, that was fine. Sim Star Wars story and the Sims 4 Journey to Batuu game pack. Okay, I will. Do you know what? This is a lot better than I was imagining. And I hate to say it, but it's true. I'm not reading the comments. I don't want to see all those people. <laughs> I definitely came into this very skeptical. And listen, I am not a Star Wars fan. I don't really care about Star Wars. I don't really care about like story-based gameplay in The Sims. I hated Strangerville. But like, I enjoyed playing Strangerville. I think I just don't like the Strangerville concept. I don't like the idea of a story thing being in The Sims. I still had fun playing with it. I only played it once. I'm only gonna play this once. Like, I'm not gonna frequent Patu. I know that for a fact. However, I think I'm really excited about trying to play it. Like, I just can't believe that this exists in The Sims, and I'm really curious how they're gonna do it and how they're gonna pull it off. And you know what? I'm not the audience for this. I I don't think any of us are the target audience for this pack. I think this pack is aimed towards, like, core Star Wars fans and also non-Sims players. Because, listen, The Sims is a business. They're trying to draw in new players all the time because if we want The Sims to be around for a long time, which I would like it to be, they do have to do things sometimes that maybe would draw in more players. I mean, a lot of their existing expansion packs kind of do that. Like, think how, like, University is maybe a big draw for newer players, whereas things like Laundry Day is maybe more aimed towards the core audience, because no one's gonna be like, oh, that Sims game's got a new laundry pack? Let me buy the Sims 4 base game and laundry to play. But I feel like a lot of people might be like, wait, The Sims is doing Star Wars? I'm gonna buy The Sims base game and the Star Wars pack and try that, because sorry, what? And so I feel like this this game has potential to add a lot of new players to the Sims fan base, and I feel like while many of us are very angry about the existence of this, and we feel kind of slighted by it, if you look at like their plans for this year and what they've done so far this year, they kind of gave us two packs that were very directly aimed at like the core audience. They maybe didn't go over very well with you personally, but think about how like Eco Lifestyle was directly based on that first fan vote where we picked Eco Living, and then we got the Knitting Pack, which was also directly based on a fan vote. So they've kind of done two very heavily inspired fan voted packs voted for by the community, the core community, and now they're doing a Star Wars pack for outside players. And I feel like on paper that makes a lot of sense. Maybe it didn't go over so well in real life, <laughs> but when you look at like when they were planning out this year, I feel like if I heard that plan like, oh yeah, do a fan voted stuff pack and then a Star Wars pack, that makes a ton of sense. Of course not everybody wanted Nifty Knitting. You might not have liked Nifty Knitting. I thought it was fun. I was a fan of Nifty Knitting. I also voted for it, so you know, <laughs> I'm a little biased. But like I think that plan plan, as far as like a business plan, makes sense. And honestly, this again, this pack isn't for us. This pack is literally not for me. I am not a Star Wars fan. I don't care about this. I actively don't like story-based gameplay like this in The Sims, but even I'm kind of curious about it. I feel like if I wasn't a person who made YouTube content on this one, I'd probably pass on it. Like if I wasn't playing The Sims for a living and like reviewing packs for a living, I probably wouldn't buy this one. But you know what? They got me curious <laughs> because I feel like my number one interest in this pack is just seeing what it's gonna be. Like, I literally cannot fathom how they're gonna do Star Wars in The Sims. Like, these two things to me do not seem like they mesh well, and that's why it kind of interests me. Like, maybe that's a good thing? And you know what? I bet the Sim Gurus that worked on this had an amazing time. Of course, they probably didn't get to decide on this. Like, some higher-up execs at EA were like, hey, we got a Star Wars contract, Sims is gonna make a Star Wars pack. And they were like, okay. <laughs> Sure. It's not like the people on Twitter you're seeing are getting to make these decisions, so don't go yell at them. You're sending hate to the wrong place. I mean, the best way that you can show that you don't care about this is just not buying it. Let it flop. I don't know. I'm still gonna make videos on it. I feel like this is kind of my duty to, like, be the one to play it. I'll take one for the team. I'll play it. We'll see how it goes. I feel like a lot of us, if you watch my channel, probably have very similar opinions on The Sims, so, like, seeing me play it will probably be good enough for you. I mean, I said it about Strangerville, too. I was like, if you watched my Strangerville Let's Play, you don't need to buy this pack. Like, if you care about the gameplay and you watched my Let's Play, you played it. Like, you don't need to buy it. Granted, there are some cool build 
items in Strangerville. I don't feel like I'm gonna be as interested in the build or cast from this pack. Let's be honest here, I'm not gonna dress my Sims up as Kylo Ren. Like, it's just not gonna happen. I feel like I'm more interested in being able to have a Sim who's like a mega Star Wars fan. Like, I wanna make some nerd Sim who like loves Star Wars, loves droids. Like, I feel like that could be interesting. And also, if droids have useful gameplay, like if I can make them do things for me, I might use those. I don't know, maybe I'll do that on a daily basis. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but I think as far as cast goes, like, if you're gonna give me a Star Wars pack, can I get some, like, Star Wars merch? Like, could you make, like, a t-shirt that says something on it that looks, like, Star Wars-y for my Sims to have? Like, because I would use that. I don't think I'm gonna use your costumes. Although for Halloween, it's kind of fun. I don't know, it's, it just seems like a- I'm trying to justify ways I could possibly use this pack more often, and it's kind of boiling down to, like, I probably won't use this. However, I am kind of excited to play it the first time. I'm gonna be honest, when I watched that first trailer, I was like, I literally don't want to play this. I don't care about this. I'm kind of curious how they're gonna do it, but like, I don't know if I want to play the story mode part. Like, I don't know if I really, I, I don't really care. But now that I've seen this trailer, honestly, I thought it was a good trailer. Like, I liked the girl talking. I thought she was funny. Like, I just, I don't know. It was a well put together trailer. I feel like I learned a lot, but I'm basically rambling on and on about how I'm kind of interested. I don't feel the same rage that a lot of people do about this, because I can definitely see the other side. Like, I see the smart business move of this. I see, like, how it would be really appealing to a select group of people. And they're kind of at a point in The Sims 4 where they can do that. Like, they've done all the big boy packs. Of course, we're still missing some things, but like, they covered university and seasons and pets, and they did all of those big, big ticket items. Remember how everybody in the comments used to be like, okay, but where's seasons to every single pack announcement? They did that. There's still some big wishes for sim stuff, but I feel like most of those things are for updates, and the update team is completely separate from the game pack team, which is also a completely separate team from like stuff in expansion packs. All these things have their own teams. It's a big company. The existence of this pack does not take away from like them possibly updating babies or whatever. So just keep that in mind, like this isn't taking away any content from you, it's just adding more content to you that you might not care about. My whole point about that is like, they've gotten to a point in The Sims where they can do more niche, interesting, maybe more experimental packs that they couldn't have done before, because they've kind of covered all the bases, they covered those big tickets, now what are they gonna do? And I've been saying that this whole time, like once they had University come out, I was like, okay, but now what's next? Like they did all the basics, what's next? And what's next is Star Wars apparently, which um, you might not I like. I don't think I like it that much either, but you know what? It's happening, and I'm still kind of curious about it. I hope that I, I made my points come across. I'm not trying to be some, like, EA simp. I'm just trying to, like, explain how I feel about this, because I don't think I'm as angry as some of you are. I still feel like I should re-watch Star Wars before this comes out, and there's a lot of movies. I don't even know which ones I should focus on, but, like, for example, I saw them, like, playing that card game, that gambling thing. Some of my friends were talking about that. They're like, I hope they add this, but, like, you can't do gambling in The Sims, so I only knew about that because they were talking talking about it, but like that would have gone over my head. There's gonna be a lot of references in this pack that I'm just not gonna get. So maybe I should, maybe I should rewatch Star Wars just so I look like less of an idiot when I try and play. Anyway, pack looks kind of cool. I like the trailers, it did a good job. Honestly, all the assets look awesome except for that one. Wait, yeah, except for this guy. Cora returned. His looks ugly. I hate to say it, but you don't look good at all. I, I hate your costume. You look so stupid. I'm sorry, I'm being really rude. I love you, Disney. Tell Mickey I said hi. <laughs> I think on that note, though, I'm gonna go finish cleaning. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll link my first Star Wars reaction down below, and I guess stay tuned for more videos when the pack comes out. Oh boy. All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow.